Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the new Rockon vlog. Today, starring the KTM RC390. A few days ago, I wanted to get some inspiration with some stunt videos on the KTM RC bikes. On the new generation, I couldn't find any. So I thought, why not to be the first in the world to try if this is a good stunt bike. That's exactly what we're gonna do today. Before we do it, we need to do some quick TLC work and I want to show you some special oil we're gonna put in this engine here. Let's go, let's rock. We drift the hell out of the 373 one cylinder engine in the past weeks because we did a lot of drift videos. So an oil change is definitely needed to keep the engine safe. So let's go to work. But first, we need some quality lubricants and cleaners. As some of you know, Ma Petrol is my sponsor and they just developed this top-end oil called Ma Petrol Premium Power Ester Oil. And for the RC390, we need a 15V50. And what's so special about that oil? They told me they managed to reach the viscosity index of 177 and the top brands on the market has between 145 and 160. So that means that this oil performs very good in high temperatures and improves the clutch grip. And definitely these two features we're gonna need on the RC390 today when we're gonna do some stunts and we're gonna probably bring the engine to the boiling point. So let's go to work. The engine has the fresh oil and the next thing that we always need to check is the chain. If it needs some cleaning and some lubing. My dust. Let's go. And now a quick tire pressure check. The next thing is the brake check. The discs are a bit oily because I touched them with my dirty fingers when I was mounting the tires. And let's do a quick uh, brake cleaner session. Better the brakes work 100% when I do some wheelies and stop this. And then we are ready to stunt. Bike check. Today I'm gonna push some limits and a crash can happen. I don't wanna scratch this beautiful baby here. So we needed to add some protection parts and we took a Duke 390 subcage, fitted it on the RC390, so it's a prototype thing. Then we have here KTM Power Parts race footrests. They protect really good the bike in case of a crash. And important, we protect the engine with some engine covers from Bagurish Performance and we added here you can see the spindle sliders and this will protect my forks. So those are the protection parts and the next thing is as you know from the previous vlog is the one of the most important parts for stunt riding is the double brake system. This allows me to do the next level tricks. So we have the same thing here and we added the carbon plate for a bit safety and a bit style. I like the, how they look similar to the Moto3 bikes nowadays. And we have also a clutch and brake setup on my left hand. And now here on my left side we have another important upgrade for stunts, which is a big sprocket. It's a 56 teeth sprocket and this will make my wheelies smoother and also allow me to do some better drifts. Probably you're wondering why is this cable here? It's the, actually the ABS sensor. I removed it so I can lock my rear tire and front tire. Doesn't look nice, but it works. Stop it test. I would like to do some really high speed ones and some with some obstacles to make everything even harder. <laughs> and let's start with the hardest one, why not? So I would actually like to do a stoppy arriving here on the barrier turn around and trying to land here with my rear tire. And let's see if this works. Let's go. How about if you try on that one, on the bigger yeah. one? You wanna do everything uh, harder for me or what? Yep. Okay, let's try. Let's see 
what is my longest topic with the KDM RC390. approximately 46 meters which is a pretty decent uh, distance but I have a feeling I could push more I don't have time for it so let's leave it like this so I would say it's a pretty good uh, long stoppy bike because you have all the weight on the front do you think we can do a stoppy kiss? I think so yeah why not uh, yeah of course this bike can do it but the problem is uh, we need to find a girl uh, I suggest we go to the building, there's some offices and let's see if there is some brave girl who wants to try that stop a kiss. We have to... This is perfect for video. Oh no, click no. A few moments later. So we have two girls, Nika and Lara, for doing the stop a kiss. Yes. That's the stop a kiss. Thank you for joining me. And guys, this is what we have in Slovenia. 10 out of 10. How would you rate stoppies from 1 to 5? I would actually rate it 4 out of 5. Uh, the, the bike is amazing on stoppies. Everything is moved on the front, so I have all the weight on the front wheel. So I feel the grip, so I can do really long stoppies. The only thing why not 5 stars is once I want to turn into a kangaroo stoppy, it has a bit soft suspension, even though I adjusted the compression and rebound. Uh, in general, all the stock bikes have a softer suspension, which is meant for the streets. But for the stoppy, I would need to have a harder suspension. That's why it's four stars out of five. Time for some wheelies and we're going to do some circles. I'm going to try to do some combos in these perfect weather conditions. And let's go. Ladies and gents, that was the wet wheelie session with a proper downpour. A bit of rain can't stop me, as you can see. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I was struggling a bit, but the bike did its job properly. Uh, I need to rate it, so I'm gonna give it four stars. Why four and why not five again? It's because the super bike shape is not really good for when you do straight wheelies and you do in a sit-down position. You can't see in front of you, so you need to move left and right and catch the balance and that makes the whole thing a bit harder to do. But that's common in all super sport bikes. What is really good on that bike is super balance, which means when I was standing on the seat, I could really do long wheelies. And what I really like is actually that place here. It makes a really good support for my butt. So when I do technical tricks, I can really catch my balance and that's really important when you have a proper wheelie bike okay guys let's see if i can manage to drift on that wet surface so it's time for drifts
another challenge for me? Yep, the last one. Okay, let's go. Okay, what's the challenge? So the challenge is you need to drift as close as possible to these cones and not touch any of them. Whew. Okay, it's gonna be it? a tough one, man. Let's, let's do go. it. I just freaking love to drift that bike. Easy thing, five out of five for drifting. Why? It's super light. With a bigger sprocket, it's also very easy to turn the wheel. And because of its super sport shape, it's so cool when you hang down very close to the floor, such a special feeling. So for those that want to learn drifting, that's the bike to have. So the conclusion is the KDM RC390, it's a great stunt bike, literally. The previous version was a bit wild with the engine and now it's way smoother so you can do also the slow technical tricks now. Some minor changes that with it you see how many tricks you can do with that bike. If you want to go pro it has a lot of space to change it to your own. So like cutting the tank, removing some more stock parts and then the bike is really Without you, my rockers and my sponsors such as Map Petrol, this fun vlogs wouldn't be possible. So thank you for supporting and the engine is still running smooth. Survive my beating. That's it for this time. See you in the next one. Until then, rock on.